Hello, I'm Chef Johnny, and this is Texas Style Cuisine. Appreciate you stopping by. Tonight, got something special for you. I'm going to show you how we make our refried beans. Get started on these beans. I have some lard in a pan. Oh, I don't know, two or three tablespoons. By using lard, you get a very rich flavor. It's just a different flavor than using vegetable lard or using shortening. So if you want that nice uh, taste that you get in refried beans, use some lard. Got that. I'm going to dump in, oh, I don't know, maybe a quarter cup of finely chopped, uh, we can even say minced onion. And I don't have as many uh, beans as I normally have. We just I just took some leftover beans that we had. And we're just going to cook these onions down until they get tender. If you were using fresh garlic, I don't have fresh garlic tonight. I'm just going to use regular garlic. When your onions are just about done, drop that fresh garlic in so it doesn't burn. Garlic burns very easy and it will get bitter on you. So we're just going to cook down these. Now I'm going to get my beans. These are just basic pinto beans. You can look. I have a recipe on uh, campfire beans. It's in my cast iron playlist. And uh, that, that bean recipe would work fantastic with these, but just however you cook your uh, pinto beans when you're making uh, a Mexican meal, just use that same recipe. Uh, you, could, you could put the liquid in, but you just have to cook it off. Uh, some people put their liquid in, and what they do is they add a little flour, make kind of like a roux, and then it will mix with your liquid and, and thicken up your beans. I usually don't do that. I usually just add my, my beans right into my pot without the liquid. Beans are in. I'm just going to heat these up now. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take, oh, a teaspoon of cumin. Not a lot of beans. I'm going to do maybe half a teaspoon of cumin. That's in there. About the same amount of garlic looking for that half teaspoon mark and I'm just eyeballing this tonight about right there I want to keep those moving I don't want them to burn turn this heat down some more salt now remember these beans are already they're already cooked now if you get them a little bit dry we still have we haven't thrown our bean juice out right we can add some bean juice back into it. And I'm going to add just a little bit of black pepper, a couple of shakes. That should be plenty of pepper. Warm these up. I am going to add a little bit of juice back into these. Don't want them totally dry. But now what some people will do is before they mash their beans, they'll actually take some of the whole beans out, mash them, then add those whole beans back in there to kind of give them a little more coarse, uh, coarseness to them. We don't want them real smooth. Some people put them in a food processor. Um, mashes them up a little bit too fine for my taste. But that's looking pretty good. Let me get a spoon and give it a try. Mm, that's good. These beans are getting hot. I'm going to add a little bit more salt. Maybe a quarter teaspoon more. Fires out. I'm going to take my bean masher and I'm just going to mash these beans now. These are pretty coarse. I'm add a little bit of juice back in, a little more. So we ended up using maybe a third of the juice that we had in there. So I'm gonna mix that in. Turn my fire back on just to heat that juice up. Because these had been in the refrigerator, so they were cold. That's looking pretty good. Take my spoon, try it again. 
that's what I like. It's got a good flavor to it. Salt, pepper, garlic, that little bit of onion. Oh, and I tell you what I forgot, a little bit of lime juice. I've got about a juice of, oh, put about half of this lime in there. Turn that all the way off now. Mix that in good. And that's going to add a nice little twist to these refried beans. Try them now. That's what I'm looking for. Excellent, excellent refried beans. So, those are ready. We're going to be making up some chalupas with these. I got another video coming up. In a couple of days, y'all will get to see. I'm going to put the refried bean video up. Y'all going to see it today. In a couple of days, we're going to have up a video on uh, bean chalupas with a wild hog sausage. And it's a great, great recipe. So remember, in a few days, I'll have that other video up and y'all can see it. But tell your friends and family about us. Share us on your social media. And we're going to see you down the road on Texas Style Cuisine. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.